What's going on everybody? I'm Will and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. In today's video I'm actually going to be giving you guys an update on the Java Moss Grow. So let's go ahead and jump right into it guys. So if you've been following along I did set up um, somewhat recently a moss grow that utilized two tubs one nested inside the other and the upper tub had drain holes drilled in it and then the lower tub would catch excess runoff. I would spray the moss with a hydroponic fertilizer solution to feed it nutrients. Um, well that, that setup worked really well but to be honest it was kind of inefficient in that it required two tubs. So what I've been doing as of late is, and here's a corgi down here, I've been using a uh, turkey baster and then I spray the plants just the same as I do in that previous setup and then when the water level starts to raise in the bottom of this um, container here then all I do is just use the baster to extract the excess water and I found that that's been really important to prevent um, excess algae in the system you just got to make sure that there's not too much standing water at the bottom. But as you can see, this has been resulting in excellent growth and it requires less tubs, which is cheaper to get set up and get running. Um, so there, there are some benefits to a basic setup like this. Um, the other thing I would note is that you really want to make sure that you cover more or less the bottom of the container. And what that'll do is allow the moss to use up essentially all of the fertilizer such that there's no fertilizer left for any algae to really get going. As you can tell there is quite a bit of moss in this container now. It's hard to see from the side but it's standing very vertically and what I'm probably going to do here soon is give this one more trim. I'll basically I'll show you how I do that. Come in here with some scissors and you find some of the taller strands of moss and you just trim them off like this. And then you just let those little bits um, lay and those will sprout into more moss plants. Um, so I think that this is actually, this is getting really close to being able to take about half of this moss and then start another tub. So pretty soon I should have a couple of tubs full of Java moss, which means I'll have some available for sale again soon. Um, for those of you that did purchase some moss, thank you. And for those of you that are new here, I do sell the plants that I grow on my website, nwaquahobby.com, and I'll have a link in the description. So if you guys want to check out my website, you can. I do sell other plants like Anubius. I'm going to be selling Ludwigia repin soon, working on Bacopa caroliniana, working on some Ludwigia palustris. This is a better tub of that. Uh, I also sell, I'm working on selling Java Fern Windelov, and my staple, regular old Java Fern. But back to Java Moss, this stuff couldn't be more simple to grow. Just spray it with some fertilizer and let it do its thing. And for those of you that are new here, the fertilizer that I use, most of you that have been following along would know that this is my favorite stuff. This is the fertilizer I use. It's called Foliage Pro by Dynagrow. It has a very high uh, proportion of nitrogen which I've found uh, really boosts growth so that's the stuff I use and I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to pick some of that stuff up and that will be an affiliate link so I would get a kickback if you buy from that which would be greatly appreciated all right guys that's all I had for you in this video I know it was a quick one but I had to get something out to you this week uh, next week I should have something a bit longer um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out my website if you're in the market for some aquarium plants. I do sell out really quickly though, so make sure to subscribe to my newsletter because I always let people know when I've harvested plants and made them available through that newsletter. So that's the best way to know when I've got plants in stock. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, take care.